good evening, this is Diecast Looney, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Friday Night Custom. And uh, this week's custom um, has got a little bit of an interesting backstory. Um, because basically I didn't have a clue what I was going to do for um, this week's custom. All the way through the week I couldn't, couldn't decide. I'm getting a bit low on, not cars, but parts. Um, I've got loads of... Um, decals left or transfers left but I've got no then none of them none of them are interesting I've, I've got no particular interesting ones left I'm getting low on paint I'm getting low on different wheel sets so I couldn't decide what to do and I ended up funnily enough I was out in the back garden cleaning up the backyard a bit and I noticed one of my son's cars in his uh, little sandbox and it was looking a bit worse for wear. And I just thought, right, I'm going to do that. I asked him first, obviously, because it's my young boy. And he wasn't bothered, as he has lots of Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars buried in different places. And that's what they're for. They're, they are toys at the end of the day. But anyway, I just what I'm getting at is I just basically grabbed a random car. And I just painted it a random colour. And I didn't really think about it. So I'm going to show you what I've done. So let's put the camera down. And get a bit of zoom on. So here it is. It is a 1968 Plymouth Barracuda. And I just painted it yellow. Obviously, I stripped off all the old paint and gave it a clean up and got some of the big scratches out the glass. There's a one little bit there on the glass, but the glass was really badly scratched as it's been half submerged in water and in a sandbox. But I had no I had no clue. Usually when I build a car, I have an idea of what it is I want to do, what wheels, what this, what that. I didn't bother any of that. I just literally grabbed the car, didn't care what it was, cleaned it up and just... I like yellow, so I painted it yellow. I chucked on some Texaco decals. Not loads, little Pirelli one there. Got these awesome wheels which I think says uh, Hoosiers, can't tell, yeah, it's like Hoosier. Hoosiers, can't say it, but um, they are proper drag wheels, so it's, it's a loose drag car basically, I mean it had, a, it had a rake to it anyway, it had large and smalls on it anyway from the original Hot Wheels wheels, and now it's got proper big rubber in the back, as you can just about to see it does they do for some reason I don't know what's going on but the wheels do spin but this one for some reason keeps getting hitched up under the arch and I can't see why because it one minute it'll roll and the next minute it won't and I've had it off and on and off and on and this one's spinning quite nice so I think what I'm gonna have to do is put a little smidge of glue on that axle just to keep it pinned to the chassis and then it'll be free it'll be free because there's nothing um hitching it up anywhere i just think there's a bit of movement in the axle more than one side and there isn't the other but it does it does roll but i want it to roll freer but anyway painted the door handles in black gave the gas cap a bit of black did the rear light yeah you can see that wheel's tucking under a bit so that'll be no problem, I'll glue that down. And the front is supposed to have lights on the, it's got like silver grills, but I decided to black the whole lights and the grill out um, because obviously this thing goes down the drag, trip, drag strip and I thought it looks meaner with the front all blacked out. So, and because it's like I said, it's no rule to it, I just literally did what I felt. Black the interior out. Um, if I'd had a bit more, um, I, would, I would have liked to have put a roll cage in this and maybe made some wheelie bars and put a little parachute on the end and then it would have been absolutely spot on. I may do that yet as this car is not buttoned together. It's holding together well because when I drilled it out, I did it so well that to actually put the car together, you have to sort of squeeze it to put it together so it's not all floppy. So technically it could stay as it is, but because I want to button that wheel up a little bit and um, I may, I may try and do some wheelie bars 
and maybe a little roll cage. But uh, but I'm not I'm pleased with it. It's turned out well. The paint's turned out quite well, apart from my fingerprints on the nice new lacquer. But it's dry, so that'll polish off with a bit of a bit of rag. But it, like I said, I didn't take any pictures of the car before, but it was pretty untidy. But anyway, what I am going to do is I am going to, I think I'm going to give this car away. Um, I've got another box that I got to send off next week. Um, so I'm thinking it won't hurt to send another car off that way anyway. Um, so what I'll do is what I always do. Um, if you want a chance to win this, just leave a polite comment and then I will send this wherever it goes. There's no no problem. I don't mind sending it all you know anywhere in the world. It doesn't bother me. All I say to my overseas friends are, is that if I send you a car, um, sometimes it can be quite quick. It can be there within 10 days. Sometimes it can take a good month. Um, I've actually had some cars before take nearly, you know, a good eight weeks for some reason. I don't know why, but um, so if this does get sent off, it may take a month if it's going to certain parts of the world like Australia and America and things like that. But that's no problem. Um, like I said, I made this. I'm happy with it. I did I did have an intention of whatever I make, I will give this one away because I've got loads of these now and I've got, I've got quite a few yellow cars. So even though I do like this colour, there's only so many yellow cars you can have in your collection. So like I said, just leave a polite comment at the end of the video. And then what I will do is, I think next week on next Friday night custom, I will announce the winner. So you've got a whole week. You've got until next week's episode to get your comments in. And then next week when I do the um, the next Friday night custom, I will say I will pick out um, a winner for this. But anyway, with that. Please like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more Friday Night Customs. Wednesday night um, movie car uh, mania. And obviously vintage Matchbox Mondays. This week's episode is going to be awesome. As I've got some pretty cool pieces ready for Monday's episode. But anyway, with that, uh, please take care. And thank you very much for watching. See you soon.